Hey, all you heat seekers out there. Welcome back to Fat and Spicy. I'm Fat. And I'm Spicy. This is the channel that's dedicated to everything with flavor and spice and not so nice. Be sure to check us out every Tuesday for new content. All right, guys, this week is a double header because we just released our hot sauce review of Project Hot Sauces. And uh, today we're getting back into another spicy challenge that was sent to us by some dear friends, a little collaboration between Sean and the pack and Late for Work. So uh, they sent us a spicy challenge and already right off the bat, I'm super impressed with it. It's very unique, the presentation is beautiful and without further ado, let's go ahead and, and bust these bad boys out. So here's what they have sent us, is these two little boxes, you know, nicely you know, tied up ribbons, a little thank you sticker on it. Um, and you can see in there, there's uh, four individually wrapped items. And uh, he did send me a picture of uh, what it is before. So I will go ahead and say that I know they are different flavored Rice Krispie treats. But unfortunately, that flavor is not all good. Because these each have Reaper powder on them, making them the world's hottest Rice Krispie treats. With that being said, if these burn that bad, this nice little gift will be returned with a little lava butt in it. There we go. One, two, three, and four. Little Rice Krispie treats. And again, right off the bat, I'm just super impressed because I haven't seen spicy Rice Krispie Treats, I've seen spicy chocolate bars, I've seen spicy uh, candies, um, you know, spicy everything, but I have not seen spicy Rice Krispie Treats. Alright, so presented by Late for Work and Sean the Pack, here is the Creepin' Crispy Treats Challenge. So right off the bat, I fat and spicy. I fat and spicy. Understand and accept that late for work and or Sean in the pack will under no circumstances be responsible or liable for any claims of injury or damage that may arise from this product. I agree and acknowledge to this with uh, fact without question. Um, so right, I don't like challenges that have dis um, that have waivers basically dis disclaimer waivers. That's always scary. Why do you need those? I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> So the, there are rules to the challenge. Uh, no other food or drinks are allowed during this challenge. This is a 15 minute uh, challenge in total. You have 10 minutes to eat all four bars. If you finish before 10 minutes, you must wait until the 10 minute burn is up. Oh, I'm sorry, until 10 minutes is up before starting the five minute afterburn. You must show your empty mouth after the last bar is finished before the 10 minute mark. Thank you for participating in this new challenge collaboration with Late for Work and Sean in the Pack. Make sure you check them out, the Late for Work on YouTube and Sean in the Pack on YouTube. So if you haven't already, go check them out and subscribe, as well as subscribe to this channel. Uh, we do see that a huge majority of viewers are new viewers that are not already subscribed. And we do stuff like this all the time where we put ourselves in pain and misery, so make sure you are not missing a thing and you hit that subscribe button. All right, so Fat here is going to try and complete the challenge as written. He's going to eat all four of them in 10 minutes. I guess we'll see, depending on how hot it is. Um, yeah, what an attempt. When it comes to this level of heat, uh, if you've been a long-time follower, my stomach cannot handle it. it. It just tears me up, and I'm in this for the long run. So I will go ahead and you know give each one a try, give each one a good bite, um, and hopefully I can get through all four of them just doing that because... My tolerance is super low, um, but that's what our channel is all about. So, all right, you ready? I guess so. All right, starting the timer now. Now, there you go. Maybe they should. What in the world? It's like it half like sludge, half. It looks like some fruity, fruity, some fruity pebbles. That's exactly what that is. Fruity pebbles with some chocolate on it. It actually looks like freaking mm. awesome. 
Yeah, so chocolate and fruity pebbles. Oh, I, I just took a, oh, there was a little piece of chocolate, a little, little, little piece that fell off and I just took it and popped it in my mouth and that was pretty on fire. It's tasty. Really good flavor up front. Oh, yep. <laughs> but it's hot. <laughs> I mean, I... <laughs> yep there it is i knew it was gonna happen because it's reaper powder and reaper i mean as good as this tastes up front it has that reaper taste as well and it burns and it hasn't built too bad yet but that was number one so number two is a regular rice krispie treat with the chocolate on top Let's see how this one is. <laughs> yeah, this may not be. I'm not a. Uh... Ooh, there it is. There it is. Glutton for, for punishment. Mm. I'm already gagging. My eyes are burning. So let's see what we get from this tasty little crispy treat. Mm -mm -mm. I chewed up number two. We are three minutes in, but Fats already said he can't eat like the full one of all of these. I mean, that'll be a bad time. <laughs> uh, I'll just like keep all these gags in the video. <laughs> People are gonna start to turn it off. It's hot. <laughs> oh, wow. This one's all chocolate. Now the reason this is called the Creepin' Krispies is because the thing about Reapers is, is that it grows. Each time you take a bite, it just keeps growing. And sometimes it takes a while, but it, it builds. It keeps on building whether you want it to or not. So now that I've you know spit out number two, it's, it's building. And I've still got two more to go. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I got a cluster of the powder, I guess. This is hot. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh. The tears are making my eyes burn. Oh, man, this is bad. I a paper towel. It's like sitting in the crevice of my eye and burning. Oh. Oh. All right, guys. Sorry the camera cut off. Um, I'll have to look back and see where it cut off later. But uh, just in case, a little recap. We've taken bites of all four of them. <clears throat> and it builds. It really does build. My nose is running. My mouth's on fire. The last one's sweet, but I can't tell what it is. It looks like Apple Jacks or something, but yeah, taste-wise, I can't tell. Pick that up again in case they didn't see it. This was the last one. Red on top, like a Fruit Loop or something on the bottom there. Um, and yeah, it's freaking hot, man. Oh, feels like Dante's Inferno. Mouth, in mouth is burning. Yeah. Eyes tearing. 
Stomach hurts. That's why I can't. That's the trinity of hot challenges. Sorry for the gag reflexes, but that's what this Reaper stuff does to me. Each of these did have start out with a really good sweet flavor, but the heat quickly catches up. So, uh, as far as the rules go, we failed these miserably, but uh, we love trying these, and they, yeah, they make a great spicy challenge. Although, I think more reasonable would just be to do one at a time. Like, just do one, maybe a little bit bigger, and uh, do it that way. Because, man, that's near impossible to finish. Well, whoever the made them, they're good. Other than the the Reaper powder. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, big shout out again to Sean in the pack. And late for work for the Creepin' Krispies Challenge. Again, we failed it, but it was a fun time trying them and getting burnt up. Uh, so thanks again, guys. Getting a little a little buzzy feeling. Yeah, me too. And by the way, neither of us have had water yet, so that is important to note. We will have water soon. But make sure you subscribe to their channels. Subscribe to Fat and Spicy. New content every Tuesday. We'll put a tag at the bottom, late for work, and showing in the pack. Yep. I'm going to rate it at two gag reflexes. Woo. So, without further ado, we will see you next time. Remember to keep it fat and keep it spicy. See ya.